Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Marissa. I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids. My daughter, Eliana, is three and my son is 15 months. Today I just wanna share with you guys some stay-at-home activities to do with your kids to keep you guys sane in this crazy time. If you are anything like me, I have realized how much time we actually spend outside of the house. I thought as a stay-at-home mom, we spent a lot of time at home and that I was pretty creative with the activities, but we have reached a whole new level at this point. So I really hope that these things will help inspire you and help to just give you some new ideas of things that you may not have heard of yet or that you may not have tried with your kids. So yeah, if you have children in the same age range or even a little bit older or younger depending, um, I hope these things will help you out. I hope you guys are doing well with all of this craziness going on in the world. This is obviously something none of us have ever experienced, so. <laughs> Just navigating this together, I think, is the most important thing. And just having community, my prayers are that, um, that you would find peace in this time where I know a lot of jobs have been uprooted and I know a lot of things are just very, very uncertain for a lot of us at this time. Um, thankfully, we are okay. My husband is working from home. I'm just doing my mom life thing and we are good. The Lord is good. If you need prayer, please um, comment down below and I would love to pray for you or you can go follow me over on Instagram and you can send me a private message and I would love to pray for you guys. So before I jump into this video, I just want to say that I don't want you guys to feel like you have to go out and buy a ton of things. I'm really aiming to make this video a very simple video. Um, a lot of these things you can do it yourself and it's pretty simple and straightforward and that's really what I'm going for. I don't wanna accumulate a million things trying to entertain my kids. Um, I especially have not bought more toys, and stuff like that because we already, as it is, need to declutter our stuff a little bit. I said this in my previous video, but let me know down in the comments what is getting you through right now? What is it that's really been inspiring you or speaking to you? If God is showing you something, please share that with me. And if there's an activity or a craft or something that you've done with your kids that has been really, really awesome and really fun, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Let's jump into the video. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is kinetic sand. We actually just bought, well, we bought this a couple weeks ago, but it just arrived yesterday. And I've heard really good things about it on on YouTube and on Instagram and so I wanted to try it out myself, especially the natural sand texture, I guess. This is great because this is honestly like beach sand and Eliana loves playing with this. She's only obviously had it for like a day and a half but she's been playing with it nonstop and she asked me before she took her nap, mama, can I play with my sand when I wake up? So I think this is definitely a win I'm excited to have this. It's just a good thing to add to like Play-Doh and just switch it up every so often. So when I give her the kinetic sand, I usually just put it inside of a tray and then I give her some toys that she can stick the sand inside of and that she can make little like castles out of. And I also give her some cups and some scoops and some containers, just kind of switch it up. I know there is do-it-yourself versions of making kinetic sand on Pinterest. This one we got from Amazon, which I can link down below in the description. And I think it was like $13.99. The only thing with Amazon right now, if you're seeing this video when it goes up, is that certain things have priority, which makes sense. Amazon is doing their best throughout this time as well navigating through this whole thing. So it may take a few weeks for your item to come. So I would definitely give this a thumbs up and say, go for it. The next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is sensory play. 
We have a sensory table that we got from Ikea and it has been really, really great. I love putting different things in the sensory bin. Right now in the sensory bin, we just have some items that I found in the Target dollar spot just like some little toys and they had these little Easter erasers that I put in there. And I also, I also put in some plastic Easter eggs just to give it a Easter theme. And I've had that stuff in there for a couple of weeks now and I'll obviously keep that stuff until Easter and then I'll switch it out. So that's what I've been doing ever since we got the sensory table was just switching out our sensory play every like probably once a month. Um, and every so often I'll take one of the bins out and we'll do more of a messy sensory play at the table. But there are endless sensory options. I usually get most of my sensory play ideas from Pinterest, but usually I like just putting some sort of a bean in there. I think this one I had chickpeas in and they just, my kids like to just scoop the chickpeas and they'll put them inside of the Easter eggs right now and they have so much fun doing this. If you do not have Easter toys or even if you don't have a sensory table, you can just get a Tupperware and you can just throw some dried beans in there and some dried pasta and just some scoopers or some cups that you find in your cabinet that are obviously kids safe. Those things you would be surprised will keep your kids entertained for a while. As long as you're keeping an eye on them, it is a great activity for kids. The next activity that we have been loving is just simple paper crafts or crafts that use very minimal items. So I love going again on Pinterest and just looking up crafts for toddlers, crafts for preschoolers, and you can get so many really good ideas. The activity that I did with Eliana was a rainbow cloud and all we needed for this was construction paper, a marker, some glue, and some googly eyes. So it was all stuff that we had already. And she had so much fun making this and it was, easy and the cleanup was simple and we just really enjoyed doing this together. It just gives you like a variety in your day and it might only take you 10 minutes to do this craft or whatever, but it's good to switch it up. And also you can find things where your kids are learning. Even if your kids are a little bit younger and they're still working on their colors and their shapes, this is really good for that too. You would be surprised. There's a lot of things that you can do with what you already have probably in your craft bucket or that you already have at your house. The next activity that I wanna share with you guys is these window crayons. This was actually one of those things that I went to buy and I was not sure if it was gonna be a disaster. I wasn't sure what the texture of the crayons would be like on the window or how they would look on the window. And so this was a total gamble. And when I got them, and pulled them out. I actually let baby James try it first. And again, he's 15 months and he pulled the crayons out, started coloring with them on the window and it went pretty well. I mean, he wasn't super like absorbed in this activity, but he did have a lot of fun with it. And Ellie really, really enjoys these. She will play with these probably for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Of course, she wants me usually to like sit with her in color, but honestly, this is a fun activity to do with your kids. We have fun doing this. My husband has fun coloring with Eliana on the window, and it's actually not hard to get off. The only thing that I would say is that you want to like really thoroughly wipe your window and you probably are gonna have to go over a couple times with some window cleaner or you will have like a residue on your window. But overall, this has been really, really great. Okay guys, bear with me for this next thing. This is the most random activity and it just kind of happened like spur of the moment yesterday. My kids were trying to get into the pantry and I saw that we had this Amazon box. And so I thought, you know what? We have popsicle sticks and we have pom-poms. So what I did is I just cut like a slit in the middle and then I put two holes on the side. And what they can do is they can stick 
the popsicle sticks in and then they can take the pom-poms and just push them through. Now this is definitely more catered towards Baby James, but Eliana loved this too, and I'm not even kidding you. We sat there for 30 minutes and just put popsicle sticks in the box and push pom-poms through and then dump the box out again. So guys, this is simple and I guarantee you, you have this stuff just sitting at home. I think on Pinterest, I also saw that you could take like an old coffee container and kind of cut a hole in the top where you could do, you could probably fit two, like one for pom-poms and one for the popsicle sticks. So this is just a fun, fun activity for kids. You can actually do counting activities where you like count the number of sticks that you're putting in or taking out. You can work on colors, you know, saying, okay, we're only gonna put the green ones in. And they had so much fun doing this activity. So I highly recommend doing this very simple activity with your kids. The last activity that I want to talk with you guys about is just a, taking a bucket or I even grabbed this um, this had like Melissa and Doug stamps in it but going on a nature walk and filling these with little nature finds that your kids can find I think having something with compartments like this is fun because then they can see oh this rock will fit here or this stick will fit here also sometimes we will tell Ellie that she is looking for dinosaur fossils or something and she loves to do that and she loves to use her imagination when we go outside and just find little things in nature but it also helps to get your kids to want to go outside i know a lot of kids really just like have that that natural urge to go outside eliana would stay inside and just hang out she is a homebody like to the next level and i'm not even sure because we, I feel opposite of that. I think just encouraging, encouraging our kids to get outside is so good and just the play and just the rich play that comes from being outside. Definitely give this one a try and let me know how it goes. So I basically have talked about all of the things that we really have been doing recently and I just wanna to touch base on a few other little things that I didn't really get film or footage of and I can also do another video of this nature. If you guys like this video, let me know if you want me to make another one and I totally will. Also, if you want me to make a video that is more focused on like learning activities, I can do that for you guys as well. Just a few other things that have helped us. Um, we have been doing a lot of baking and actually like paleo and healthier baking and we've had so much fun with that. So I just encourage you, bake with your kids. If you're not even sure where to start when it comes to baking, you can do like a box brownie mix or something, but just do it with your kids and have fun and let them get messy, let them lick the spoon and just have fun with it. Another thing that we have been working on with Ellie is just introducing some letters. So if you have like letter magnets to go on your fridge or something, she likes to just pull out the letters and we'll talk about like, oh, A is for Apple or E is for Ellie and we'll spell her name out with like little magnets or you can even do that with paper and just write it out and then just show them the different letters too. Another really important thing is I'm really just trying to get Ellie grounded in the word of God. If you did not know, I am a Christian and so I do work to incorporate Jesus into our daily life. So Ellie has been learning a lot of Bible stories. She loves reading her Bible stories, but I'm trying to give her different like avenues of learning the word. And so we've been working on memorizing some verses and she also really loves the Bible app for kids. She loves to click on the different stories and she has her favorite stories. Her favorite story right now is Samson. I do give her a little bit of time her day to work on that as well and then also guys I just want to encourage you to just like if you're feeling like you just want to have a lazy day just have a lazy day it's okay if you're gonna have a little bit more screen time if you need the rest just rest I just want to encourage you guys not to feel overloaded in this time not to feel like you have to fill your schedule with all kinds of stuff 
give yourself some grace. This is an intense time for all of us and I definitely need to every so often have a lazy day where, you know what, I'm not productive that day and we're all just vegging out and living our best life. Trying to navigate motherhood, especially during this time, is really, really crazy. So definitely give yourself some grace. And also another great thing is to just get out. I know the I know the restrictions are different in different states, but just get out, even if it's just going for a drive, even if it's just going to pick up a coffee. Um, maybe you're going to pick up a pickup order from Target or pick up your groceries, whatever it is. Just get your kids, take them out, go for a little drive, open the windows, get some fresh air, grab yourself a coffee, and just um, enjoy the little bit of peace that you have as you're driving in the car. It's a lot to be home constantly, and it's a lot to feel like you are just nurturing your kids nonstop. So I really work on having independent play with them too. So I am trying to get those moments where I could just step back and just breathe. So I just want to take this moment to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I would love to have you guys as subscribers if you are not already subscribed to my channel. And I, on my channel, I make motherhood and lifestyle related content and I just want to be a light in the mom community and inspire other moms. And so if you are interested in that, Thank you for sticking around and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.